Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 GMC Canyon and its seven speaker Bose audio system. This is gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, audio controls, audio adjustments, speaker locations, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Then we're gonna get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. But before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the truck. The new AT4 off-road performance edition coming here kind of the panda white on black look looking good with the updated grill other than that this cut this truck is a little bit older but still certainly functional and coming in with a pretty darn good bose audio system so if you want to see more on the canyon check the links in the description we've got a few other good videos on it you know, we always do these tests with lossless uncompressed wav audio files on a usb stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at that now. Taking a look right here at the classic GM infotainment system. Now it might look simple and small, but it actually works really well. Very quick to respond. Look at that going back and forth, going to sound settings. You have your standard bass mid range and treble, as well as front rear, left, right, fader, and balance. Let's go through those three now. That is all you get for sound settings in the canyon. For audio controls, you have a very nice, easy to grab volume knob here. You can grab it with gloves, no problem. You also have volume controls on the right rear of the steering wheel. For track selection, you can either use the touch screen. If you're in the media screen, you can use this rotor knob. You can use these buttons, or you can use the left side of the steering wheel on the back again. For audio inputs, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM satellite radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto support two USB-A ports, and some streaming apps such as Wall Street Journal, Spotify, USA Today. Those are just three examples of those installed on this truck. On top of that, you do have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no disc player and also no USB-C port. It's not the end of the world, but as more and more phones are using USB-C, it would be nice to have. All right, speaker locations. As I said, this is a seven speaker Bose system. Bose never publishes its maximum power outputs, but that's okay, this system has plenty of power. Starting in the bottom left, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and in the rear, six, seven. Easy enough. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. We're gonna start with Android Auto. Let's see if we can run data on two USB ports at once. A lot of vehicles only allow one or the other. Nope, it says connect Android phone to USB. So it looks like we are going to have to unplug. Oh, wait, it automatically switched. Interesting, so our USB did go out, but our Android Auto is coming up right now. So I'm going to accept on the phone. And there we have it, Android Auto. And scroll around, decent refresh rate. Fits the screen nicely. GM's been doing Android Auto for a long time. So you got YouTube music. You've got, what else do you want to see? I showed you maps, and there's the setting screen there. All right, Apple CarPlay. Let's see how easy that is to hook up. I'm actually going to unplug the USB device and that right away, prompted with an Apple CarPlay screen. Hit continue. No need to do anything on the phone. There we go. It took a little bit, but it's up and running. Looks good again on the screen. You've got your maps, you've got music, and the setting screen right there. All right, let's fire the tracks back up and get on the road.
guys love that truck getting over right there for no reason? What, what was that? Ridiculous, man. Anyway, listening to this track, you can hear things, especially for a truck cabin, are pretty well mixed. The bass is coming through pretty strong, providing uh, a satisfying line for the bass drum and the bass guitar. But the upper high ends come through decently clearly as well. It's a little strong on the upper mids, but definitely not the worst we've heard from uh, this price range and also a vehicle that isn't really supposed to be for sound quality. I'll turn the music all the way down now, let you hear what this truck sounds like with its all-terrain tires. You definitely hear them. It sounds like a like an off-road truck. Wind noise isn't awful and engine noise, you, you notice it on hills, but not really when you're just cruising flat ground. This next one will turn the bass all the way up. Hear how that sounds. We're expecting a lot of mirror shakage. mid-sized truck audio system. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get this. I mean, yes, this is a $40,000 truck, which in some ways is quite expensive, and in other ways is really quite a bargain compared to the rest of the new car market. So it's fairly straightforward Bose, not outstanding, but does a pretty solid job. Objectively speaking, not considering the price or the type of vehicle or anything, sound quality would be coming in about a seven. It's six to seven. I'm trying to be a little harsher on my rankings to not result in inflation. So maybe a six. 
But subjectively speaking, considering the price, this vehicle's mission, sort of what you get, I'd be giving this a nine. This is really good for this class of vehicle. Definitely better than the Ridgeline. Haven't had a chance to test the Ranger, but it's definitely better than the Tacoma as well. So good job on GM for putting a decent Bose sound system in this. If you want to see more on the Canyon, check the links in the description for our highway fuel economy test and our car court video. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.